And if we see ourselves in the story of evolution, our family increases a million, million fold. Richard Dawkins says, if you had a picture of your great-grandfather, 150 million great-grandfathers back, which everybody has, you would have a picture of a fish. <laughs> your ancestors were scaly. <laughs> if we see ourselves in the story of evolution, we realize that we are connected to everything that's ever lived through the miracle molecule of DNA composed of four chemical compounds and depending on how it's arranged in these long strings of coded information, the DNA will contribute to the growth of a giant sequoia or an ant or a rose or a human being. It's magical substance. Deoxyribonucleic acid, much too cold a term for this, this substance that separates life from non-life. I propose a new acronym. Please join me. Every time you see or hear the letters DNA, think divine natural abundance. Divine natural abundance. Your DNA is almost 100% identical to the DNA of the person sitting next to you. The instructions for building and maintaining you are almost exactly the same as the instructions for building and maintaining me and the Dalai Lama and House Speaker John Boehner and <laughs> Oprah and Britney Spears, that our individual differences are just a thin coat of paint over the basic human design. We share over 98% of our DNA with chimpanzees, nearly 90% with mice, nearly 70% with worms, nearly 50% with yeast. So if we declare ourselves divine, is not the slime also divine? And if not, where do we draw the line? Who gets a soul? There's a great t-shirt put out by the biology department at UC Santa Cruz. It says, we share 25% of our DNA with bananas. Get over yourself. <laughs> 